Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good morning. I'm Jana. I'm Jason. And we are living lucky. You are too. We've been up all night. We've been watching the election returns like a lot of other people. We're going to have to go take naps today. (laughs) And what I find so interesting is we can seriously talk this to death of why people voted the way they did, what sector was thinking what, how could the campaign have made different decisions. We can sit here and analyze. It's called analysis paralysis. What's right, what's wrong. (laughs) And we can literally sit and try to look at all the data. The truth is the win in all of this is that we have a certainty. We We know. We we know we have a leader. Whereas going into this, they literally warned us. uh, All of the when I say they, I'm talking about the political pundits warned us. We might not know who is our president until January. (laughs) Right, and then that just kind of leaves you in this kind of fog, COVID haze. Yes, you get into a fog where you're like, I don't know who I'm following. I don't know where we're going. I don't know what to say. Which sometimes I think. The American populace is comfortable being in that because a lot of times we we live in that when we are not chasing our personal dreams, when we're not like it's like we get we get up and we keep doing, doing, doing. And if you have the fog of uncertainty about who the leader is, then it's just kind of like, oh, it's I can still exist in my normal nothingness. Well, the truth is the last four (laughs) years we've been in a fog. Uh, I'm just going to call a spade a spade. (laughs) We haven't had a, I mean, I'm, I'm not putting anyone down, but there hasn't been a strong, clear presence direction. It hasn't felt like that. We haven't all known which way we're going. We just kind of, it, it's it's like you're, uh, I, w- I want to say a sperm. <laughs> we're just, we're just and you're rushing just, out of you're here. You're following the crap. No, here, here's an example. Here's an example. I love that you said a sperm. Uh, Disney World. I've been World. thinking about that this Wait, no, no stop. <laughs> Too much. Back it off. No, it's kind of like at Disney World. You know, when Disney World, the end of the day, the park is closed. We've watched the fireworks show and now we just kind of follow the crowd. Back to we the don't know. Lot. We don't know where we're going. <laughs> we just kind of go. Oh well, everyone else is going this way, so let's go that way. And that's what the <laughs> last four years has felt like. Yeah. Am I right? It, it has. It's uh, there's been a, and that's just I think when we talk about that certainty. Yes. Like subconsciously, we are all looking for certainty and kind of that loud voice that says this is what's gonna happen. Yeah. And this is where we're going so that you know in your head, okay, this is where we're going. Okay, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this out in experiences that I have had. And I may not know what I'm talking about, but this is my experience. I've been on a lot of sports teams. And when our coach, I had one coach and she literally would say, you're doing good. <laughs> the other team's not so you're going to win. So keep doing what you're doing. Team. <laughs> Go team. <laughs> Very exciting. And I mean, yeah, we got through the season, but nobody really knew the plan or the where we're headed or how our goals improve. or how to improve or or if we're even working on the same side here. <laughs> right? We just yeah. all kind of went out and started playing catch and keep away. That's what we did. <laughs> That's a fun game. But it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't produce points on the scoreboard all the time. Now I've had coaches where I haven't always necessarily liked these coaches, but if a coach comes out and yells at us and says, we're doing this drill stump, that's what, that's what my maiden name was. And that's what I was called on these teams. It felt like, okay, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I know who's in charge. 
because I'm not out there asking the captain, I don't, I don't understand. What's the play? What yeah. are we supposed to do? Oh, you know what? I'm mad at Cindy, so I'm going to go talk to Mindy. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to take it back to the Disney, um, the thought of being in Disney. Because yeah. like if you if, if there's a group of you going to Disney yes. and you want to make everyone happy in the group, yes. you say, okay, what does everyone want to do? And then no one makes the decision. We get nowhere that way. And you sit there and you discuss it for hours. 30 minutes, <laughs> at least 30 minutes, until somebody gets angry and says, I'm tired of standing. Can we just go? Yeah. And then it's, I'm, they, you typically go get some food. Right. Because, because now you're, you're eating your feelings around. and you're like, let's, we know everyone wants food. Let's go find food. And then you're probably going to spend another couple of minutes discussing where to go eat because there's so many options. Well, that's kind of in politics. If you're making everyone happy, you d- then make no one happy. You're going to spend a lot of time running around doing nothing. And you're, at the end of your time at Disney, quote unquote, yes. you're going to realize, wow, there were so many things we could have done. We didn't have a director. We didn't have someone that's taking action and ta- we didn't taking have a leader. leadership. Yeah. A le- that's what leading is. And sometimes not everyone in the group likes the decisions that you made, but at least there's a decision that's made. It, it Again, I know I could be a metaphor salad right now, <laughs> but it, it's kind of like when Jason and I go, what do you want for dinner? I don't care. Uh, whatever. Just, <clears throat> you know, you decide. When I and want then, steak, but I don't want to put the work in of going to the butcher, going to the grocery store, getting the spices, and then firing up the grill. <laughs> However, if I said, I really want tacos tonight. I really want tacos. Now, very clear, very, very direct certainty. Now I, Jason perfect. goes, that sounds great. Yeah. Now we have a plan and we know which direction we're going. We're going to the store to buy things to make tacos. And because of the certainty, I'm willing, I'm more willing to go to the store. Because you know where we're going. And, and so no matter how you feel about the election returns, we have certainty. We have certainty. This is our leader. There's no ambiguous. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that's about to come. Like people might start questioning. However, for the most part, it is very clear. We have a leader and it there's a relief there. There's a release in all of this anxiety that has been leading up to this for the last several months. Well, the, and there's going to be a, a, a subsect of the America that's creating that dirty uncertainty. Yes. Because, let's talk about that. Because what, what, and we all do this in different areas of our life, but this is a very um, unifying position that people get to create and go, oh, this may happen. This this could be horrible. And we start building like that dirty pain, dirty anxiety that's that's not even true yet. Like it's We a, manifest it and, by our thoughts, feelings, and actions. And instead of analyzing the like what is true, saying, is that true? Is this it, has it been proven? Because in the now, in the moment, we are all the same people we were a couple of days ago. You know, I feel like what you just said, there's, there is a component to all of that where we just, we don't want to feel out of control. <laughs> and when we focus on what we can't control, we, we become feel- become out of control. We become out of control. We act chaotic. We feel powerless. We start acting chaotic. Whereas now that I know, you know what? America has decided we have a leader. They have- projected the leader by 8 a.m. on November 6th. Which is quicker than the past couple of years or couple of election cycles. <laughs> that makes me know that there was some unity. It wasn't a complete... It wasn't a landslide, but there was certainty among the certain. <laughs> but the majority <laughs> speaks. The yeah. majority speaks, correct? And so now I know... I just, there's something about me in knowing. I feel safer. I feel clearer. I feel calmer. I feel... And when you live into that, you start act, you start making decisions that create a a new... Safety, 
calmness, all of the things that I just said. Yeah. Because clarity, because you're not throwing ahead of you that dirty anxiety, that dirty pain, that dirty um, uncertainty to create more uncertainty in your future. So what he just said, I'm going to translate in layman's <laughs> terms. It goes back to the Band-Aid. You know, when you take the Band-Aid off, yeah, it might hurt a little bit. However, if you sit and go, I don't want to take a Band-Aid off. Oh, God. it's going to be horrible. Oh, That's, my God. Scared. I'm going to see something nasty uh, and it's going to be painful. I can't do it. I can't do it. Count to three. Count to three. No, you do it. You do it. <sighs> it's that that uncertainty of how it's going to feel that starts creating this energy within us. Yeah. And it's, and that is scary. It's painful. Um, Whereas if we just say we are going to take the bandaid off in four seconds, three, two, pull. one, <laughs> done. Now we have a direction. Now we know there's certainty there. And the bandaid's off. And the bandaid's off. Time to get to work. Ooh, thanks for joining us. We, we need to go take a nap. We've been up all night. That's right. Uh, We're going to be sleeping lucky. Up all night. Keep living lucky. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.